Should our kids go back to school? That's a question we've heard a lot being discussed in many households right now. Our Shira Matsuzawa today spoke with a pediatrician to get a more in-depth look at how COVID-19 affects kids and what he's seen when it comes to the pediatric COVID-19 cases across the Treasure Valley. And this, of course, comes ahead of those school doors opening, Shira, in about a month. What did you find out? Well, Mark, across the state, there have been a little more than 1,000 cases of COVID-19 when it comes to the 18 and younger demographic, and that's according to the state data. But today, we're getting a look at what clinics at Primary Health have been seeing across the Treasure Valley. This has been uh, a challenge for our uh, physicians and pediatricians all over the world as it has been for, for the public. Dr. David Peterman is a pediatrician and CEO of Primary Health Medical Group. He says while we're learning new information about COVID-19 every day, we just don't have enough data yet to know anything for sure. But there is some evidence when it comes to COVID-19 and children. It appears with children under the age of two, number one, they may not get coronavirus as easily or frequently than those that are 18 or older. Second, Dr. Peterman says it seems children under the age of 12 are more likely to be asymptomatic, meaning they have coronavirus, but not the symptoms, and they may be less likely to infect others. However, there's a caveat. Children can get very sick. Children can end up in the hospital, and certainly children can in pass this on to their grandparents or someone who has an immune problem. So we, we, we need to treat it just as seriously. Another concern? A severe illness, which some children who have had coronavirus can later become infected with. It's called multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children, M-I-S-C. It is described as a illness following getting coronavirus in which there's an inflammatory response that affects children's major organs throughout their body. Very severe. Dr. Peterman adds the illness can affect the heart, the lungs, and the kidney. Fortunately, he says we have yet to see a case of it here in Idaho. What he has seen, though, is testing. Currently, Primary Health has five respiratory clinics, and one is devoted specifically to children. Since the pandemic began, they've tested 2,000 kids under the age of 18. Only about 100, 120 of them have actually been positive. But here's what Dr. Peterman says is important to note. Between May and June following the governor's stay-at-home order, Primary Health, on average, saw zero to one positive test per child per week. But in the last week, Dr. Peterman says they've seen 40 positive tests. So you go from zero to one to 40, that tells you children do get this, it's very serious, and as a pediatrician, it's worrisome. And that concern is taking center stage as schools now discuss plans to reopen in the fall. I think number one, before you open schools, you have to see that the positivity rate is, has decreased. In my mind, I believe the positivity rate is too high today. But if action is taken with masking and distancing um, and proper testing, we can get that, that positivity rate down probably in four weeks. And that's when some students are expected back at school. But to put that positivity rate in pers into perspective, Dr. Peterman tells me currently primary health is on average seeing a positivity rate at their clinics of nearly 10% when it comes to kids under the age of 18. He says positivity rates of 5% or less typically means that this disease is under control. He adds schools should also have clear, detailed plans before reopening. Mark? He's been around here a long time. He knows of what he speaks. All right, Shira, thanks.